Hey everyone, Karina here from yarntotalk.ca and today I'm just doing a quick little video to show you how to seam together the coat for the little baby doll. So this one is the 20 inch coat and I have pre-made according to the pattern the rectangles here for the back panel, two front panels and I've got the sleeves which I have folded at the ends and seamed together just using whatever seam you want to use. You're not going to see this one so not a big deal. Just use your favorite seaming method for that one. Okay, so to get started, first we have to find out, figure out where the arms are going to go. So for the rectangle here, the back one, and then you're going to line up these front panels here, like so, is the basic gist of the coat. Okay, so it's going to kind of go like that. And then this top part is the part that folds down and is the top kind of neck cuff of the coat okay so this bottom here should line up with about the feet of your doll so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down here that back panel okay like a so and I'm gonna line it up here I'll push it up with my camera this 20 inch doll is bigger than my camera <laughs> view, so I'll just keep scooching it around here so you can see. So I've got my doll here in about the middle of that back panel, and as you can see, I've got it where I want just a little bit of the feet showing there at the bottom, because I just want his feet to kind of poke out slightly. The coat is supposed to be long enough there to, um, to cover his full body. So I've got the same, so this is two rows, so two, four, six, eight, ten is about where I can see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I could scooch him over just slightly. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and a one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and one is what I can see for rows. So I've got him lined up according to my rows. So basically you just want to center your doll like a so. so when I tuck it in here at the sides these are the stitches here that I'm going to just kind of mark for now with my stitch marker so that's I know where I want that kind of top shoulder to fall okay I've lined up that back panel I know that that's where I want it there on my doll. Okay, so then I'm gonna take him away. And then I'm gonna count down and see how many stitches down I've marked. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And this will vary for every doll. So, um, yeah, that's why I didn't really put it in the pattern, do exactly this many, because if you happen to sew your arm on maybe a little bit lower or a little bit higher, then that's going to vary there too, right? So you just keep that in mind. So I've got 15 down there, so I'm going to do the same on this side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and it actually did fall into 15. So that's good. That means I had my doll centered. So now I'm going to line up, making sure that my starting chain for my uh, front panels is on that outer seam. Like I said, I want that kind of finished, that last row that I did to be on the inside. And if you prefer it the other way, then by all means, line it up the other way. Okay, so then I'm going to take... And I'm going to make sure that I've got 15 down on this one here. So I'll start with my first chain, which is there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this here is my 15th stitch for that guy. OK. 
Okay. And I'll give it a double count. I always double count everything that I do. So after I go through and mark it, I'm going to double count it. So this one here, 15 as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So that's that chain right there. So I'll hook that on. Okay. So this top part here, I would seam together, and I like to use the whip stitch, where you just kind of go around and around and around, and it kind of makes that cord-like look on the outside of the coat, and that's just my preference. You can do an invisible seam if you don't want to see the seam and sew it on the inside of the coat. You can do an even fancier kind of mattress stitch kind of look on the outside. Whatever design you're going to go for, I say do it. Okay, so then here I want to leave enough room in my coat to sew on my sleeves, right? So don't forget about your sleeves. We're not going to sew them onto the inside. I'm just using this as a guide here so I know how much room I need to leave for my seam. So here, I'm just going to mark it. So that looks good. I'm not going to go like so that there's a gap. So I'm just going to bump one up so that this here kind of will just slightly ever so slightly kind of curve in. And that'll prevent any kind of gaps or whatever. So then here I'm going to take, I'm going to count down. So this is where I marked. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the 11th is where I marked it. So I'm going to do the same in the back there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on the 11th is where I mark it. Okay, so those two stitches are going to go together. So on this side, I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the same amount of space. So I'm going to count down to the 11th and mark it for each one. Okay. Now I'm going to give everything a double count. So making sure that I've got everything lined up. Okay, so match it all up to your doll, give it a double count, and then I'll quickly show you the uh, whip stitch method that I use for sewing on the outside. And we're back. Okay, so I've got everything here double counted. My stitches are marked where I need them. So that I'm going to leave holes here to attach the sleeves. So in this section right here, I am not going to sew it together. Okay, so I'm going to start down here at the bottom. And I've got some yarn on my yarn needle here. And you can single it or double it. Uh, for this coat, I thought I would give it a try to double it. So first I'm going to just kind of attach it here at the bottom. And where this little loop is, just at the bottom, is where I'm going to go through. And then I'm going to go through that same kind of little loopy nub thing looking thing down there at the bottom. So I'm going to go through both, matching them up. And it's hard when you first start because you've got that kind of long, long yarn. But and then, so I'm going to go through, so it's like I'm working over top here. The whip stitch is a decorative stitch just to add a little bit of extra kind of look to the outside. So I'm going to match up my stitches and I'm just going to weave it over top like that. And then I'm going to go up to my next stitch here, lining both seams up. Okay. You guys got that? All right. And then you just weave it around and around and around and eventually it becomes this kind of cool cord-like look. Without getting it twisted, preferably. Okay. So you just keep going up to the next stitch, lining them up, 
pull it through. Okay, go over top, back over, lining them up, going under the stitch like that, and pulling it through. And as you can see, it just kind of creates a, I don't know how else to describe it, like a cord-like look over top. It's just for decoration, if you want to do an invisible stitch, like I said, to seam your coat, then definitely do it. Or if you know another cool fancy stitch that you think would look fabulous, then do that as well. Okay, so you're gonna do that, uh, stitching it up with whatever stitch you've decided to use, all the way up here. You're gonna stop there, and then you're gonna carry on and go up the seam. Now, if you want to kind of have this decorative look like this, but you want it to show on the outside of the collar, remember the collar is going to flip. So this side is actually going to be the outside for the collar. So if you want to reverse it and do the decorative stitch kind of on the inside, but it will actually be the outside for the collar, then you can do that as well. Okay, so, and then another cool effect is if you want to just go around the whole bottoms and the tops with the cord like look just to add so it kind of all blends in. You've got your seams, you've got the top, you've got the bottom. If you want to do that for a little added effect, that looks cool as well. And then I'll show you once you've done your design here for sewing your seams up onto your coat. You've got it all sewn and you've left. So important, don't sew these up guys. Leave these gaps. I'll show you here how I sew on the seams or the uh, sleeves as well. Okay, so here we are. We're back. We've got um, the two front panels and the back panel all seamed together. Okay, so right now I have it so that the it's folded just how the doll would wear it. So this is the outside of the coat. So to sew the sleeves on, what I like to do is I like to open it up. So now this is the inside of my work. And you can see here where I've left that space for the sleeve, okay? So then I'll take, and I've seamed up my sleeve already. So I've ran a, just a, any seam that you prefer down the um, ends just to seam that up. Then I'm going to take and put it onto my yarn needle, okay, and I like to just match that seam up. So now where I sewed right now is on the outside of the work, okay. Then when I've got it all sewn on and I pull it to the outside of the work, that seam will then be on the inside it'll get flipped out. So you want to make sure that the seam of the sleeve is currently outside of your work right now. Like I can see where I sewed everything up there. Okay. And now remember we're working on the inside of the coat. So then whichever seam you would like to use, I just kind of line that up. So this is the top of the coat. This is the bottom of coat. So I've folded it here so that my seam kind of lines up with that bottom join there of the coat. Okay. Uh, just so that that seam of the coat is underneath. Uh, so it's not really kind of in the middle of the coat or anything like that. So it's not showing. Um, so that's basically all I do. Then I just sew it on and you can use whatever stitch you prefer. Okay, so here I have got that sleeve all sewn on and this is the inside of my coat. So this is the inside here of the uh, sleeve. And then when I flip it over to the outside and I turn that sleeve the right way, None of the seams here are showing on the sleeve. Okay. So now it's outside and outside. So to match it up, it's inside, inside, and then you flip it out and it'll be outside, outside. 
And that's it. That's how you sew the coat on, or the coat all together there for the 20 inch doll. And then here at this point, when you put it, I like to put it on the actual doll and line up if you're going to add um, buttons or snaps or Velcro tabs or whatever you're going to do. Put it on the doll first and then line it up because his little chubby belly kind of sticks out a little bit so it sets off that lining a little bit sometimes of these snaps or buttons or whatever velcro strips whatever you're going to put on to do the coat or you can just crochet a nice little tie and tie it on around them as well whatever you would like so that's it as easy as that uh, for the coat I uh, tried to keep that simple and if you wanted to knit it you could knit it if you wanted to sew it you would just make those rectangles the same sizes and then sew them all together. So that is it. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for lots of free patterns, tutorials, stitches. I'm going to be adding lots of new stuff here coming in the new year. So take care everyone.